hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you the creamy chicken mushroom sauce this is a white sauce so if you love creamy white sauces keep watching this video without wasting time let's just get started first i'll get my washed mushrooms and cut them into smaller pieces I'll be needing some garlic as well. I'll get one clove of garlic and cut it into pieces. Now I've got my leftover chicken over here. This is some grilled chicken. If you've not seen that video, I'll leave the link in the description box so you can check it out. I'll go ahead and get rid of the skin and the bones. I need only the meat. I'll put a pan on fire and come in with some butter. This is about one ladle of butter. After the butter has melted, I will come in with my chopped garlic. I'll fry this on medium fire for about a minute. Next, I'll drop in my sliced mushrooms. I'll come in with a little bit of my favorite seasoning, some black pepper, dark soy sauce. I'll give this a good mix. I'll cover this up and let this cook till it releases all the water. So it's been after about five minutes, I'll get rid of the lid. I'll pour in 200 ml of fresh milk. I'll come in with one tablespoonful of white flour to help thicken it up. Next, I'll come in with my chicken. Cover this up and let it cook on medium fire for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I will come in with about 50 ml of chicken broth. I will cover this up again and let it cook on low fire for about 15 more minutes. Don't forget to give it occasional stirs or else it might burn. Now it's almost ready, I will come in with some sliced white onions. I will cover this up and let it cook for 5 more minutes. So finally, finally is ready, I will put off the fire and come in with a little bit of parsley. Ladies and gentlemen, our creamy chicken mushroom sauce is ready. This goes great with rice or even potatoes. And as you can see, this was quick and easy to make. If you've got some leftover chicken, you can just mix it up with these few ingredients and you have something delicious. So this is it and I hope I did help you. If you do give this a try, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up and don't forget to share this with family and friends. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.